Like, I don't like the itchy face feeling. All right, first things first, I gotta get a fucking thumbnail. Anyway. What's going on, everybody? I said, <laughs> what's going on, everybody? Body. All right, so today's video is going to be on pre-workout. God damn it. We're gonna talk about pre-workout, but first things first, I wanna talk about daylight savings time and what it's been doing to your boy and probably some of y'all out there. Six on the dot. Six o'clock on the dot, look outside. You guys can see it. Look outside. What the f I'm about to go shut those blinds because I don't know why, but I get weird vibes like somebody's peering into my window. I'm not that important, but also you never know, bro. So I'm going to go shut the blinds. I'll see you on the side. <laughs> anyway, pre-workout. And do you take it? Should you take it? It's all up to personal preference and health conditions. I, for one, I love pre-workout. As you can see, I got three different ones here. I have Havoc pre-workout. I got this from Nutrishop. If you guys are familiar with Nutrishop, shoot on over there. Havoc is a pretty decent one. I'll talk about this one right now. So this Havoc one is pretty good. It's got good focus and a lot of energy, and it also has arginine in it for the pump. Now. Arginine for the pump. I'll be 100% honest and I'll be frank. And it's probably a little bit of TMI, but uh, arginine in my stomach, they not friends, all right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I'll be all on the toilet shit. So I'm not, um, I'm not a big advocate for arginine. I don't really take this one too much. As you can see, there's still a big portion left. I've had that for over a year and it expires fairly soon actually may of next year so that's that um i also have pre-gym shout out to drew and amber for helping me get this my good friends and my clients um they gave me the pre-gym this one's pretty good um it did its job for a little while it's got a bunch of ingredients in it um it also has like black pepper which is kind of crazy and it really do be like you ever get pepper you know what's crazy? I mentioned pepper and I'm about to sneeze right now. That's crazy. Like I don't want to keep talking and then I end up sneezing halfway through my damn sentence. I don't like that. It does have the citrulline malate, which, you know, coincides with arginine and goes inside the cells. Um, it has a uh, creatine HCL, but like, I don't know, like I said on my last video, I'm a big fan of monohydrate, not too big into the HCL, but Fuck it, it's in there. So, bon appetito. And then here's my baby, my total war. I know, I get it, it's generic. It's, right now, this Redcon 1 joint is basically like, um, it's like a C4 now. Back in the day, total war, when it first dropped. That's how old I am also, yes. Probably your dad's age. Back when total war first dropped on the streets, when it first hit the streets, your boy was on it. And this, this shit was fire. This shit was gas. Shit used to hit different. It definitely is not the same right now. I feel like the formula has changed a lot. Um, and I don't, I don't get the, I don't get a, a good focus with it, which is my, that's my problem is like some, so I also used to use, and I just ran out of it, but I used to use PE Science um, Prolific. Now that one has a great focus. It keeps me locked in. Uh, it keeps me locked in and it keeps me on track with the workouts. It doesn't have the most caffeine, but that's not the most important ingredient in a pre-workout. So I can do without, I can do without the caffeine, you know? And that leads me to my next point. 
Um, stimulants versus stim-free pre-workouts. I personally, I don't use stim-free at all. All my pre-workouts have stimulants in them. And um, as you can see, I've been listing off all these ingredients like theobromine and taurine and augmentine sulfate and uh, citrulline malate. But all of these ingredients inside the pre-workout, all of these stimulants are, are doing different things versus the stim-free, which is also caffeine-free. Um, I can't do it. <laughs> I'm gonna be straight up, ain't happening over here, shout. I can't do the caffeine-free. I'm 32 years old, I started drinking coffee in college. Um, I'm a caffeine fucking addict. Which, is that good? Mm-mm. Not at all, but uh, it is what it is. You know, should I wean myself off? Not with the line of work that I do now. It's not possible. You know, I just don't have, I don't have the capacity to take the time off of work just to wean myself off caffeine because you're not, if you're, if you're strong-willed and strong-minded, you probably could do it. Go to work for 12 hours with no caffeine the headache, the withdrawal, being tired, being lethargic. You could probably do all that. I can't. I'm just gonna keep it a buck. Uh -uh. Not doing it. A lot of people, when we talk about pre-workout, they're like, I don't like the itchy face feeling. Well, that comes from the beta alanine. So if you're looking for a pre-workout and you don't like the itchy face feeling, then you're gonna need to look for one that does not contain beta alanine. Beta alanine, um, is what causes all of that itchy face stuff. Me personally, I love it. I live for the shit, right? Big Dragon Ball fan. As you can see, it makes me feel like I'm going Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 2, and it makes me feel like I'm ready to hit the next lift and I'm ready to just bust through PRs almost every time. So I actually look for a pre-workout that has the beta alanine in it. All three of these, actually contain beta alanine so now going back to what i said a little bit earlier about weaning off of the pre-workout i think it is very beneficial to try and um, wean off at some point or at least kind of bring yourself down a little bit um because i remember there have been times where i overdo it um this one has 320 milligrams of caffeine and i go to work early in the morning so I drink, sometimes I'll drink a coffee in the morning. Sometimes I'll get a green tea, which has like 100 milligrams of caffeine in it. So I find myself needing to sometimes wean myself, just kind of cut back a little bit. So now what I do is on days that I drink, that I know I'm gonna use pre-workout, I'll drink like a green tea. So now I'm looking at 420 milligrams of caffeine for the whole day, which isn't too much. And I don't find myself having the heart palpitations or, um, you know, if I don't have my green tea in the morning, I don't have the headache. You know, I just need, I, you know, there's ways to be, to go, to get around it. You know, I was talking to somebody today, they were drinking the Alani New uh, pre-made Jones, the little uh, pre, pre, the, the fucking drink. <clears throat> and they were saying, oh, um, you know, I don't, I, I only drink these because um, my caffeine tolerance is 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 not very high and stuff like that, and that's a, that's the right thing, right? If your caffeine tolerance isn't high, you do not want to start off with a full scoop of fucking total war. Y'all wildin' for that shit. Ease yourself into it, and it even says on the on the bottle, do like half a scoop if you're not if you're somebody who is sensitive to caffeine. Right, because this this shit is is intense. I'm telling y'all, it's intense. Even though it doesn't have the focus, I still take it for the caffeine. I actually just took it today. I had a very intense leg day, and um, and I and I I took it. So stacking pre workout, many things you can do, but a lot of people like to do a pre and a pump. Um, on my arm days, upper body days, shoulder days, whatever you want to call it, um, I like taking Total War with. Big Noise, which is Redcon One's pump formula. Um, I don't, I don't have any more Big Noise. I actually ran out, which is the weirdest shit. How did I run out of the pump product before the pre? Even though I take more of this. The fuck. Anyway, I do the Big Noise and the Total War for my upper body days. It's great. It's great. I love it. 
The only is the only thing I don't like is sometimes big noise. The flavors don't match. Like you'll go in so. Where I'm from in Florida, we have a place called DNC, which is Discount Nutrition, and um, or it's not. There's no C anymore. Sorry, sorry guys. Sorry Nas. Sorry all y'all. Discount Nutrition, DN. They don't carry certain flavors of the big noise, so you're just like, damn. Like, I, all right, I got the um, Freedom Freedom Punch flavor. What if they didn't have a Freedom Punch Big Noise? Honestly, I've never even seen one. So that sucks. But at Nutrishop, I no, Nutrishop only carries like two or three flavors as well. Huh. Basically what I'm getting at is you kind of have to, it, you can't go with something like this. You're gonna have to go with like a Fruit Punch and a Fruit Punch Big Noise or a Pink Lemonade pre-workout pink lemonade big noise because if you mix the flavors it, it literally tastes like 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 just bullshit it's not it's not good and I, and even though I'm not drinking the pre-workout for the taste you, you kind of want the pre-workout to taste like you know what I'm saying like you just want it to taste good right I also put creatine in my pre-workout drink uh, unless it comes with creatine but um, I put creatine in my drinks, right? Um, See these pecs? There's creatine in there. See these buys? A little weak right now, but there's creatine in there. See these shoulders? There's creatine in there. See these traps? There's creatine in there! If you guys didn't ask for that, I shouldn't have given it to you. Um, I apologize. No, I don't. But it is what it is. My hair is getting long, y'all, by the way. Y'all see that? I, mean, I got sliced up. I got sliced up. Yeah. Anyway, guys, that's all I got for the video. I just wanted to hop on here and, and, and talk to you guys a little bit about pre-workout. Um, some of the, 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 the combos you can do, some of the things you can do, some of the pre-workouts that I'm currently taking. Well, I'm not taking these, but some of the pre-workouts that I've taken in the past and that I have um, taken. Uh, what? pre-workouts are you guys taking put it down in the comments below let's make a discussion out of it what is your favorite pre-workout and maybe i might grab it and try it um what's your stack what's your current pre-workout stack let me know down in the comments and also if you haven't subscribed already go ahead and subscribe hit the like button and as usual i fuck with y'all the long way